Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. I'm going to ask everybody to stand. Children, young people, if you're not crippled, just stand and let us raise our hands to the Lord. We must give God the glory and the praise. God is good. Even as we are here, somebody just died. Somebody was just shot. Somebody met in an accident. While we are worshiping God, get somebody clap your hands and open your mouth. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands and open your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. We serve. What a mighty God.
worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want the musicians to do something right now. I believe in my spirit that God has given me a word for the hour. You take up what is yours and you leave the rest. But the word of God must come forth. Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, Almighty God. Father God, we take control of the atmosphere. Lord, oh God, every eye, oh God, that is watching, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that people in their homes, people in their businesses, and nursing homes, prisons, oh God, wherever they are, oh God, under the sound of my voice. I pray, oh God, that somebody will be blessed. I pray that somebody will be healed. Hallelujah. I pray that somebody will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody raise two hands and begin to open your mouth and begin to thank God. Come on, somebody begin to thank Him for life. Come on, say something to God. Say something. Come on, guys. If God has been good to you, say something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got to thank you. We want to thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just turn to somebody and say, God bless you. God bless hallelujah. You. Come on, just tell somebody all over the corner. Come on, tell somebody God bless you. Tell somebody God bless you. Come on, tell somebody God bless you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody God bless you. Tell somebody God bless you. Clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. There's an atmosphere here. We're trying to draw out some of the distractions, some of the distractions. We're trying to draw out some of the distractions. Because the enemy will come and try to distract you. But in the name of Jesus, we're believing God for a flow. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Turn your Bibles quickly and praise God to Hebrews 12. Praise God, Hebrews 12. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 12. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12. And I'm just going to read verses 14 to 17. Praise the Lord. I want to say welcome to all of you. Praise God out there. Praise God. And social media, wherever you are. YouTube. The radio program. Praise God. WhatsApp. Wherever you are, we want to say God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you have Hebrews 12, praise God, 14 to 17, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us read if you have the King James Version. I'll just go ahead. Follow peace with all men. Come on. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God. Lest any root of bitterness spring up troubling. Thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or any profane person as Esau, praise God, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. 17 and last, 
praise the Lord. For he didn't know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. We honor God's word by saying amen and amen. Whenever you see the word of God is being read, you stand and show reverence to the Lord. I'm going to ask all of you to stand. Just ask everybody to stand. Praise the Lord. Just ask everybody to stand. Just ask everybody to stand. We are living in a time, praise God, where if you don't accept the gospel of Jesus Christ while you have time, it might be too late. Come on, it might be too late. So I'm coming the word, praise God. And I try to change this message. I tried to change this message even this evening. I sat down trying to change it. And the Holy Ghost said, you don't do what you want to do. You do what I tell you to do. Let's give the Lord praise. Let's give the Lord praise. Let's give the Lord praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're going to be seated for a few minutes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The word of the Lord for this hour is beware of the root of bitterness. Come on, come on, come on. Beware of the root of bitterness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beware of the root of bitterness. Hallelujah. Just, just run it for me, please. Hallelujah. Beware of the root of bitterness. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Beware of the root of bitterness. Hallelujah. I need all the facts that they like to get. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What is that? What am I talking about? Beware of the root of bitterness. Come on, somebody. Before the end of this year, you will have to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. I only need about three of you in the night. I hope that those of you in the front seat will be driven now. Yeah. Before the end of this year, there are some folks you will have to let them go. There are some things you will have to let go. Come on, you will have to just get them all your system. I wish that I had three of you in there. How many of you want to raise your hands in the air like you don't care? I mean, raise your hands, young people, mothers, doctors, raise those hands up. Hallelujah. Do not have to get rid of that root. Praise God. Amen. Just slap someone behind you, in front of you, beside you, and say, let it go. Hallelujah. 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 You see, every human being, Every one of us have a time when we experience struggles. Oh, I know that. Come on, I know that you don't even know. I say every one of us have a, has a, have a time, a season, when we experience some kind of struggle. Come on, somebody. Oh, I know that nowadays we have a generation that act all pious and all anointed and act as if they're perfect. But I still struggle from time to time. I still struggle. I don't know if it's your people are going to see me every day tonight and we can testify. I still struggle from time to time because the devil is like a roaring lion sleeping home. He made the power. There is there anyone in here that knows what I'm talking about? Is there anybody in here? I come to the word of God and I'm not going to change the word of God. Somebody, and the that that's all right. I ain't even want to preach with that that's all right. I'm going to preach the word of God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We have been barking on the end of another year. Have you been traveling in bitterness uh, all of these years? Uh, I hear God say, let it go. Hallelujah. 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 
in a world that is marred by sin. Come on, we all contend with our own human weaknesses. Come on. We all have to struggle and fight for God with our own weaknesses. We all face disappointment. Oh, I know some of you don't know about disappointment. I said we all face disappointment. Oh, glory to God. We all face trials and tribulation. Christian or no Christian, you want to go through some stuff. Come on, somebody. Can I preach in hell? Can I preach in hell? It is important that as believers we maintain the right perspective when it comes to difficulties. Praise God. And when it comes to understanding our relationship with God as children of God, we need to be careful that we don't fall in the trap of deception. In the believing that we are saved when we have roots of bitterness inside of us. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm so that somebody would have loved me to come and preach on prosperity. Somebody would have loved for me to come and preach about how you will get rich. Come on, before 2020. But I believe that I come to tell you how to prosper. Get rid of bitterness. Get rid of malice. Get rid of anger. They bear from one person to another. Come on. Each and every one of us have our own different difficulties. Everybody have their own situation. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. But God still have a plan and a purpose for each of our lives. Oh, glory to God. Somebody might be going through some trials. Somebody might be going through some testing. Somebody might be going through some Stop right now, God. And your neighbor might be laughing at you. Your neighbor might be saying you ain't gonna make it. But I want you to fling your head back, lift up your two hands, and, and give God praise. And give God praise. Come on, come on. Come on, give it praise, give it praise, give it praise. And you might be going through your problems, but God is there with you. Hallelujah. Somebody just slap somebody and don't whisper, just slap somebody and shout and say, This is my word. Come on, come on, come on. This is my word. This word is for me. Come on, come on, this word is for me. The devil sometimes comes and he puts things before us. Because we want to defeat us. Come on, the devil comes and will set up our kind of derelicts. Sometimes he works too far for the members out. I never say you're a man. I never say you're a man. Sometimes he works through shows right now. Come on, come on, come on. Sometimes he works through a boyfriend. Sometimes he works through white man. 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 Thank you. 
are going through our struggles. Sometimes when we are going through our Mara, the enemy is a time of chastening. It's a time of chastening. And sometimes when God is that ready to bless us, He has to touch us a little bit. He has to touch us a little bit. He has to rub us down a little bit. Somebody is saying that. Sometimes just before your miracle, God has to allow everything to drink. God has to allow everything to drink. Sometimes just before your breakthrough, He has to allow everything to go down. Sometimes just before, yeah.
And every time you pray to God, you want to be able to have peace with God. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Because of the grace of God, you won't be able to understand His purpose for your life. Without the grace of God. That's why right, the song read about it one moment. Your grace Yeah, yeah, it's a name of the Lord, praise God, and his mercy, that's his 
birthright or he never would have tried to obtain it from Esau. And he knew that Esau didn't care. And so he just offered him his bowl of porridge. Come on, come on, he just said it to him. In other words, Esau said, take it, just give me a little bowl. He did not know how. We must regard what Jesus did for us. We must regard the blood of Jesus on Calvary's cross. We must regard it, church. Come on, somebody must take your salvation serious. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but this preacher refused to come down. This preacher refused to compromise. This preacher refused to let anybody shut my mouth. Come on, somebody. I will sympathize with you. I will try to help you. But I will not be silent when God gives me the word. Nobody can shut my mouth. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because if there was ever time you need some strong, solid food in the church, I get it in now. And in 2019, we are going out with the help of God. We are going out strong. Stronger than when we came in. Can somebody clap your hands and open your mouth? I give God a praise. Jacob tricked his brother also. 
Because Jacob knew that the first rain was for the first morn. Talk to me. It was the rain. Even though a prophecy was made over him. Yes. Jacob. Mother. As well as parents, you gotta be careful. We have enough teenagers today in gangs. Enough teenagers killing. God be gone. Because some mothers condone yes, with what they are doing. The mother, we know the story. Made sure she got skin some gold and put I put the skin. But Esau was very hairy. And Jacob was not hairy. And so the mother made sure she put some skin. Oh, come on, somebody. And we know the story. Come on, somebody. We know the story. And we know the whole story. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And because Esau was bitter, praise God, he ended up passing down his bitterness to his family. He did not repent. To his children called the Edomites. Come on, somebody. And the Edomites turned around and hated Israel. Come on, somebody. The Edomites is from Esau. And the Israelites is from Jacob. Give the Lord a clap. Come on. Hallelujah. It had got so bad that the Edomites, those that came from Esau, at one time didn't even want the children of Israel to pass through their land. There was war. So today when you see families at war, that Edomite spirit is still going on. You got some families today that they they put a piece of fence. And this one can't walk over. This is granny and uncle and sister and brother children. And they can't pass over. They will war over land. The evil white spirit. We have family killing family over land. You're not hearing this preacher. You got brothers and sisters fighting over land. Well, anybody we can't talk, I want to be a talk for you now. Because we don't know your business. But you've got family feud going on right now. Oh my Lord, they have left. You got brothers out to kill sisters. Sister, brothers, born. Oh my Lord, that's an ego my spirit. That's an ego my spirit. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. With my notes. Hallelujah. God is still in control. The family of the Herods are the last, was the last of the Edomites. And we know that Herod initiated the slaughter of all the baby boys. Come on, of all children. Because he wanted to get rid of the Messiah. Come on, somebody. There was a king coming. Come on, there was a king coming. Come on, somebody. Come on, because sometimes when the enemy sees that God is about to do something, he goes, Come on, somebody, he tries to kill. Come on, he tries to kill. He tries to kill. He tries to kill everything. Kill your dreams. Come on, man. Kill your vision. Kill your desires. Kill your peace. Kill your happiness. Kill your brain. Herod's spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. One of the Herod's behaved John the Baptist for preaching the gospel. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the Herod persecuted the local church. But God is still sovereign and still in control. God will eventually judge those that rise up against you. Yes. Make sure that you are pursuing peace with all men and holiness unto God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 
example of Esau demonstrates the danger of bitterness yes. to an individual and to the succeeding generation. There's a lot of all half of this crime and violence what we see today all over the world. It's not just a Jamaica thing. It's a worldwide thing. Sin. But a lot of it is springing from generational curses. Someone not saying anything. Generational curses. Come on, generational curses. Great, great grandma, great, great grandfather, great, great uncle did some things. They trace back some of these murderers. Some of these gangsters, it goes right back to the 50s and the 60s. Come on, somebody, and the 40s. There was somebody in the family initiating a generational curse. Hey, come on. My God. Generation. You see, if there is a bitter root, it will produce a bitter fruit. My God. A bitter root must produce bitter fruit. You can't have a bitter root and expect it to produce sweet fruit. Oh my God, come on somebody. Come on somebody. Whatever that root is, it's going to spring up sooner or later and it's going to shoot out branches. And it's going to bear fruit of whatever the root was. Come on, somebody. That's why you gotta make sure you cut off certain roots. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over. And expect God to bless you. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, you'll find your dead in your bed. Sooner or later, something will happen. Because God never destroys a nation without a warning. God always warns and he warns and he warns and he warns and he warns. But one of these days, the warning will be over. One of these days, it will be too late. So it's time that you cut off the root. Come on, come on. Don't forget that the birthright carries responsibility. The birthright carried attached to the birthright with responsibility. Attached to the blessings that God is with. Responsibility. Attached to the blessings of God is responsibility. Come on, somebody.
come to help somebody. Come to help somebody. Come to help somebody. We shall go on the keyboard, brother. See, just get down so you can praise God. Everybody raise your hands. This is a now word. This is a be my word. This is a word that you better grab it. You better grab it. You better grab it. Come on, you better grab it. You better grab it. Come on. Come on, you better grab it. You better grab it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Can we take a moment and praise God before I close? I'm getting ready to close. Can we take a moment to praise God? Can we take a moment to search yourself? Come on, because of what Jacob did, it affected his family. Pure family problems. Men of families, men of communities are still affected by bitter rules. That's why we have so much crime and violence. That's why we have so much killing. We have little children. You've got 30 year old murdering, stabbing, or the school lives for death. Come on, somebody. Come on, bitterness. Come on. The root of bitterness. If left unchecked, will eventually destroy those who nurture it. Both Esau and Jacob came from the same family. Same mother womb. Esau and Jacob. Two brothers. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on. The one learned from those painful lessons and the other became bitter. Jacob repented of what he had did, but Esau was bent on murdering. Even though what was done to Esau was done from a tender age, yes, yes, yes. Esau grew up. Come on, my mind. Esau grew up with bitterness against his brother. Today we still have family members that from little children, some of you not say anything. From the little children. Come on, we're gonna ask you if you have the babies, take them outside. Please, please, please. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Listen to this preacher. From little children. They grew up hating one of the brothers, one of the sisters. There was a jealousy. Come on. Their children were born, and then their children heard the story. And so their children now hate uncle or hate auntie. Their children, children on the government grow up and hate cousin because cousin belongs to so and so. So the generational curse, the generational curse, the generational curse, the generational curse, the generational you enjoy this word? Oh, raise your hands all over. Come on, come on. How many you enjoy this word? Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Time to root it up. Time to cut it off. Cut off every root of bitterness. Admit to your own flaws and stop leaving somebody else. Yes, yes. Come on, somebody stop leaving. Yes. She made me do it. He made me do it. No, you yes. wanted to do it. You wanted to do it. You wanted to do it. Esau wanted to sell his birthright. Esau did not buy you the birthright. And Jacob knew that he despised what God blessed him. Come on, I think you're going to be with me now. Come on. That's it. Yeah. Jacob knew he could find it. Yes, yes, yes. Jacob knew that he didn't care. That's right, that's right. A woman will know that you don't care. Yes. A man will know that you don't care. Yes. A man will look at you and say, you, you're pretending. Yes. You're going to church, but you're still walking. Yes. You're going to church, but your brother still called for me. Yes. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord, you're going to church, but you're still warming. 
and sit your woman there. Go get your man. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Jacob knew that he saw this spy. There's no one to regard it. Never regard it. Yes. Never regard it. Oh, Jesus. They get ready to come down. That's right. My God. It was a painful past. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Down on the dark by Jacob. Jacob the strict, the trickster, went through his share also. Yes. With Uncle Laban. Yes. With Uncle Laban. Yes. Today, minister was preaching and he touched on it. Come on, come on. God watching everything. Yes. So why Jacob trick? Also in con Esau. Jacob could have easily said to his brother, Hold on to the first right. Hold on to it. Yes. It is valuable. Yes. Keep it, my brother. Cherish it. But he saw yes. that his brother despised it. Sometimes in every family you have a little doubt one. Yes. Sometimes in every family you have a little ignorant one. Yes. Well, I don't know about your family, but I full of uh, I surround it by one of our good family and family. Yes. Yes. One of family is good. But in every family, you have a lot of family in the Cayman yes. Islands. They have been, not everybody can read and write too good. Come on, somebody. Not everybody is bright. So Jacob seemed to be like a bright child. Yes. Come on. Jacob seemed to be the bright one. He's always a little kind man. Because if you have something, if you have gold, and if you know the value of gold, you ain't going to sell it for some porridge. Talk to the man who can sell it. Who can sell it for porridge? You can hold on to it. Come on, somebody. So Jacob was a trickster. And Jacob offered porridge. Now I don't know. But you see whatever you want, call it. Porridge, soup, curry goat. Anything you want, call it. But it was something you what that also showed me in the revelation is the devil know you are hungry for. Yes. Enjoy your appetite. Come on. The devil know where your appetite is. The devil know where your appetite is. He know where you're hungry and thirst for. He know what you're dreaming about. He know what you're fantasizing about. And the devil will give you exactly what you're dreaming about, what you want. But the ultimate plan of the devil is to destroy your heart. To destroy your heart. I have seen many young girls and boys in our days of coming up in the church, Bishop, you know, minister, you've been around for a long time, some of you. I've seen many young girls and many young boys going on good in the church. Might have made a mistake one time or whatever, got back in the church, but because they were still hungry for that thing, for that person, they ended up sliding right back. So help me, Holy Ghost. They ended up sliding right back out. And the end results, like he saw, they never did made it back in. Because every time that they want to come back to church or give their heart to the Lord, something good in Stronghold. Come here to me. Stand right here. Every time that they want. Every time they want that. Something on that time. Oh Jesus. They want to go to church. Something put.
think about your soul like yours tonight. Think about your soul. Think about your soul. Choose God. Come on, somebody. Choose God. I said, choose God. Choose God. Come on, somebody. Help me, somebody. I said, choose God. Food or no food. Awesome or no awesome. Choose God. Super your soup, choose God. Porridge or no porridge, choose God. Come on, somebody. Thank you. Thank you. You want me to pray this? You just come on. Ah, come on this side. Come on this side.
But there's a mark on you, sir. There is a mark on you. Only young, you're not relative to him. There is a resemblance. I don't know, it's the first time seeing him. There is a resemblance. Come in. Is this your uncle, father? My God, somebody praise the Lord. It's the first time I'm here. This, this is your father? Sir, I want you to answer me loud and clear. Have we ever met before? No, no. Have you ever seen me before? Never. Say no. Never. Is this the first time you're putting your foot in this church? Absolutely, yes. Look at God tonight. Look at God tonight. Come on, somebody. Look at God. Somebody over here. Look at God. This is a sign to you. Yes. Come on, it's all right to pray. Let's make pray to you. This is a sign to you. To stand here tonight and the Lord reveal to the prophetess that this is your daughter. I saw, I, I, I looked over there and I saw you at the back. And I said, there must be some resemblance. There, there is some connection. Put your hands around your daughter. Put your hands around your daughter. Put your hands. Do you know how good this look? Someone hearing me tonight. Do you know how good this look? To walk into the church and see that your daughter, your, your daughter is a big daughter, beautiful daughter, is here. Yes. Are you, sir, look at me. Are you the gentleman? Are you the gentleman that will marry Sister Gail for the second time? You made a mistake the first time. Come here, Sister Gail. Come here, Sister Gail. Somebody told me to see what's going on here tonight. Somebody told me to pray and pray the Lord. Come on, somebody pray the Lord in here. This is what I'm talking about when you pursue peace with all men yes. and holiness. Yes. Yes. It might seem long in coming.
January because we put things in order. I would have done yes. what is right. Hallelujah. The sight of God. So tonight I make this announcement. Tonight I make this announcement. Guess what? She never changed her marriage name before. It was Dale. You know, back then, sometimes you do some things and you step out of the way. But whatever is the will of God is the will of God. Amen. And so even though they are remarried, and I'm so happy, that's what God has put together. Amen. Let no man to the sun. Even though there are some situations, there are some, I believe there are some marriages that God didn't have a thing to do with it. Yes. It was just man doing his own thing, woman doing her own thing. Come on, it was the flesh. Yes. Come on, somebody. God wasn't a part of it from the beginning or to end. But when you see things like this, it tells you that God is in the middle. All of her children is for this man. Give the Lord a clap. Hallelujah. Big grown children and grandchildren. So let's celebrate with them. And I saw him break a few tears away when he saw how God revealed them to me. Nobody had to tell me that this was him. Praise the Lord. Bow your heads all over. I pray and trust that wherever you are, that something would happen for you. I pray that there would be a seer somewhere around you. Somebody that can tell you exactly what God wants to say to you. God wants to tell you. Somebody will be able to help you to see also. Praise God. I'm not in the prophet tearing ministry. I'm not in the prophet money making scamming ministry. I am in to serve God. I am determined like the late evangelist Ryan Ibonka said, I am determined to enter hell and populate heaven. Give the Lord a praise. 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 Touching Jesus is all that we matter. Everybody raise your hand. And your life will never be. Come the rest of you. Find back your place. 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 Find back your
Shalom. Clap your hands for the word tonight. 